Okay, so Diamond Top Entertainment was established in 2004. It was actually established in my little apartment on Ashley Shores. Um, it was me and originally my two little cousins, and we came up with Diamond South Entertainment. Um, started off with doing bikini car washes, block parties, even a little teen club inside my house. And in 2011, we branched out into the club and we went into Ciroc and we were doing Spotlight by Wednesdays, which we did that for about seven months and that kind of got us big with the name in Charleston. Okay, and when I, let's see, I got into my artists probably in 2009, maybe 2010. I started off with probably 17 artists. Most of them were young. They were in school, and it was a challenge, but, you know, they were all, they were all loyal. Right now, we're probably down to about... 10 or 12 artists. One of them is an international artist. He's in Nigeria. Um, his name is Jay Money. Um, his um, promo CD will be out probably in about two weeks. I'm trying hard to get him to the States. He's my big focus right now outside of my front lines because we really want him here so that he can be performing with the label. Um, some of the stuff we do is um, we've tried doing the toy drives, we've done back to school supplies, we've done a lot of stuff. I would like to get more into the community with Diamond Health Entertainment, um, but it, I guess it's a matter of taking baby steps. <laughs> When finding my artists, um, a lot of them had approached me. Um, Head to the Kid, who's going to be a part of this interview today, he is actually my daughter's boyfriend. <laughs> and actually, it didn't start off as a career thing for him. It just started off as something fun for him. Um, and then he became so aggressive with it and so, like, untouchable with it because his lyricist part of it just became so advanced. Um, Mr. BLA, who's also going to be a part of this interview today. He came from Jig Records um, when I first met him. Um, he actually started out as my boyfriend. <laughs> now he's my fiance, but we kind of know how to separate the business from the pleasure of that. Um, when choosing my artists, um, I'm looking for goal getters. I'm looking for people who are going to take it serious. People who don't think that it's all going to just be given to them, all going to be passed down to them. It's, it's a go-getting situation. you got to get out there. you got to be willing to work for the money to put towards you. you got to be able to show up for your shows. you got to be able to show up for studio sessions. I mean, it's like, I don't like putting my name on nothing if I can't stand behind what I put my name on. Um, my brother Taylor made he's a part of my label, he's been sick and that's been kind of hard on us because we don't want to be performing or doing other things without him but um, it's unfortunate but we keep him, you know, we keep talking about him, we keep putting his music out and um, it's just, you know, my son Double Trouble, him and his best friend Rail. I mean, we just got so much music that's coming out, and we're going to take our time branching it out to different areas. And But I, me, personally, when I'm looking for an artist, I'm strictly about business. I'm not about favoritism. I'm not about family. I'm not about friends. It's business. Um, we do artist development. We do... Um, we, I mean, we actually get the artists to a point where they're ready. We don't just bring them out and say, okay, go ahead, hit the stage. We don't do that. It's a part of a process for us. So, a big thing for me is I'm not just focused on one artist. I'm not just focused on two artists. I'm focused on my whole team, my whole label. Um, whatever we get, if we ever get an offer, it's got to be for the whole team. It's not no one man bigger than the team, no one woman bigger than the team. 
Um, maybe it's, I'm looking to maybe in five years, somebody from this label really bring us out so that they'll be looking at the whole label. I'm trying to get back into the club and maybe do a few little spotlights again or maybe a huge music fest. Or I'm trying to collaborate with so much different people right now in different areas of South Carolina. I'm also branched out to people in Florida, in Georgia. So. It's, it's a movement right now to where I'm not trying to just be in Charleston. I'm not discriminating or working with nobody. We're open to work with everybody. Um, even me, <laughs> I have even been in the studio and recording and everybody's trying to get me back into recording. So I may be working on my album also soon. But my focus right now is getting everybody where they need to be at right now and then I can jump on it. But the goal for Diamond South is for Diamond South's name to be bigger than Charleston. <laughs>